pretty good. It was definitely it was uh, it was good to get that one under my belt. Uh, it, was, it was really exciting to get out there, and Hawaii was definitely a, a good, good place to uh, throw my first start. You had seven wild pitches. Were you pretty nervous out there? No, oh, it was just. Uh, Curveballs in the dirt. I mean, they were. Yeah. I mean, I th one got away from me fastball, but you know, I definitely I wasn't. It wasn't nervous. It was curveballs. Yeah. Is that something that you don't expect the catchers to get more used to? Is they get? Yeah, used I mean, to I've always. And I mean, I've always all my life. I've wild pitches on curveballs. It's been a thing, and uh, it's probably my, mostly my fault because I got to get those pitches up. But it'll probably, I mean, the catcher will get more comfortable with it, and it's just as the season goes on, it'll. The number will go down. The coaches talk to you about, or do they accept it? I guess and, and, and say it's okay. Or do they I mean, obviously, obviously, it's not okay because uh, you know it's free free bases. But uh, I got you know I got some swings on those pitches and uh, just, but I'm definitely going to try and eliminate those. Yeah. How do you feel going that length? Uh, that was fine. The length was fine. I've been building up all fall for and getting ready for seven innings and hopefully. Uh, longer than that and it definitely it felt fine do you, do you guys feel like you're on kind of a you know a little bit of limit do you start kind of when, once you're getting that far into the game do you go okay i probably don't have a ton left or are they going to take me out here no i mean they're gonna as long as i'm doing well i think they'll, they'll let me throw but and but pitch count my pitch count got up there a little bit i, I think i did up over 100 so they i mean they, there was no question that i wasn't going to go out for the uh definitely was not going to go out for the eighth and uh so just watching the pitch count and trying to make sure, making sure it doesn't get too high. How, how do you feel your, your, your stuff was for first first game? Ever? It felt pretty good. My, uh, my off speed felt pretty good. It was a little inconsistent, but uh, my fastball was there, and I was, I was throwing it for strikes most of the time. So. Did you have nerves before your first college start? Yeah, it was, it, I was a little nervous warming up in the bullpen, but uh, as soon as you get out there, you realize it's just, it's just baseball and it's just another game. And, no matter how many people are in the stands or how many people are watching on TV, it's just it's just another game. Yeah, you said yeah. that Hawaii was a great place for the first start. Why is yeah. that? Is it because of the weather and the Island? Yeah, island yeah that definitely. I mean, the weather is is awesome. It's it's a lot warmer out there and uh, a lot of people in the stands. Uh, pretty big crowd and it's gets you really excited and and uh, you know it's just fun fun to pitch in front of people. You guys got a sweep, so I mean, how does that feel now that you guys are? Already getting off to a really hot start. Oh, it was a sweep. I mean, getting the sweep was was big, and you know, I thought I thought we had it the whole weekend, and uh, we definitely had the momentum, and looked to carry that into this weekend. How do you feel about uh, the other starters, and, and especially you know, Jordan and, and, and everyone? I mean, everyone threw really well. Goldie Goldie threw well on Monday, Jordy Saturday, and Tommy obviously did his thing on Friday. But yeah, definitely everyone. I mean, all the starters killed it. Was said he thought some of those play conditions were pretty tough for you. It's just pretty sloppy over there on, on your outing when you were up and throwing. Was that tough for first start? Kind of get used to a different. No, I mean, uh, I think I mean everyone, everyone's nervous, and I don't know if it, if it was nerves or what it was, but it wasn't that big of a deal. I mean, you just you just got to move on to the next pitch and and just keep trying to get ground balls for your defense to make plays for you. You pointed out that first batter got on and you stopped them from scoring and some guys would get on and he was pretty impressed that you were out there and able to kind of limit some damage when it looked like they were going to get some opportunities against you. Yeah, I mean, uh, just focus on, not focus on what happened, but the next batter and, you know, like I said, just trying to get your defense more plays and let them work for you. After this road trip, you guys are going to be home for like a month. You yeah. Know, kind of starting to think about what it's going to be like to pitch here and you kind of oh, yeah. not have to be traveling to Hawaii and LA like this and oh, kind, yeah. of, kind of settle in maybe for you. Yeah. That'll be, that'll definitely be a fun month getting to pitch in front of the home crowd and uh, seeing what that's like because mm -hmm. obviously you've never done that before. So that'll, that, I'm excited for that. I'm excited for the first home series. First four college baseball games, kind of the experience you thought or was it? You know, kind of being part of the team, being out there. And it was, it was, yeah, I mean, it, it went by really fast. I, the first four games just flew by, and uh, really, I can't wait for can't wait for this thing to get going. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you're going Saturday. Does that change your scouting at all when you have one less day to look at your potential hitters? No, I'll get, I mean, I'll get to look at the guys uh, all Friday, and I can probably get enough. Just, I mean, I just need to throw strikes and try and. Do what I do. What I do. How much film study do you do ahead of time, or is it all just Friday night? It's all just Friday night. Yeah, I, I don't. I didn't do any film. I mean, I have uh, like a little scouting report on on the guys, but watching them Friday night will be the biggest scouting report I need.